talk about Bryce Harper? Yeah. I like what he said. We had this conversation about Bedard. It's like, what do you want the guy to say to sell hockey? Mm. And then I saw, it was I think it was that day, I was watching a post-game interview of Bryce Harper talking about how he loved to play in Philly, blue collar. Wasn't necessarily uh, controversial. Wasn't necessarily um, a great conversation with the media. It was just pure heart. Pure heart. Pure Bryce Harper. A real human he looked like. He didn't look like, he didn't talk like an athlete. He didn't talk like a... Like a guy like who's a, made $500 million. Yeah, he, he didn't talk like that. He, he, he talked like a guy who really wanted to win the league. Mm. He wants to win an MLB championship. What do they call that trophy? World Series. No, what do they call the trophy, though? I don't think... There's no name I for the trophy? No, no. No, I don't think a lot, a lot of the other uh, leagues to. don't have, like, specific names, really. It's so like when you win the... NBA champion is, like, the NBA world champs. There's no way. I got to find that out. Search it up. So what do I type in? MLB trophy name? Yeah. The commissioner's trophy dust. That's what I'm saying, bro. They just call it. You win the World Series. The commissioner's trophy. Like you win the Super Bowl. Like you win this World Series. Like you don't really win like the Stanley Cup. You win the commissioner's trophy. <laughs> no one calls it that. They call it the World Series. Yeah. No shit. Who the <laughs> hell wants to go in a press conference and say, "Hey, I got five commissioner's trophies." That sounds awful. Mm. Saying like I got five Stanley Cups. Yeah. Woo! Cup rings. You kidding me? I got yeah. five cups. Yeah. I got. A commissioner's trophy yeah that sounds like a blue ribbon award for but it's more your best. it'd be like i'm a world series champion that's what okay. you'd refer to like bryce harper is trying to become a like a world, a world series, series champion. champion yeah like a stanley cup champion like a world series champ nba champ okay super gotcha. bowl champ we're getting away from the point <laughs> i remember back in the day why do i always keep talking about back in the day life was just so good i guess those uh privilege those um <laughs> those uh detroit colorado battles and some of those mm. post-game press conferences, just pure heart, pure human, pure emotion, pure, I give a fuck. Mm. Just pure, I want it. I want to win a cup. I Not even I want to win a cup. It was I want to beat Detroit or I want to beat Colorado. It was just raw emotion. And I understand from the Bedard aspect of it, of what do you want the guy to say in order to sell the game? Game two, game, th- you know, what do you want him to say? I get it. It's, it's tough for him to sell his emotions i get that but watching bryce harper the other day in that press conference i don't even know who asked him what whatever he just went on a rant about how he loves playing in philly he loves the blue collar mentality that's why he signed there for x amount of years and he loves competing for those people in the way he described it i don't know it might have been like a four or five minute rant just the beautiful execution of words assembled together and uh, it made me kind of, not that I'm not watching the MLB playoffs, but I'll admit I'm not glued to the TV right now watching mm. the MLB playoffs as the Jays aren't in it. You got a little bit of trouble of me sitting my ass on a couch to watch uh, to watch some baseball. Yankees, I'll, yeah, I'll watch the Yankees, but, Ugh, you know, just Phillies, Phillies in Arizona, like, where's my connection to that? But this is what we're talking about. After that rant, I watched the game the other day. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, Bryce Harper's going to put his heart out there to the world, how he feels, his emotions, his determinations of what he wants to achieve. All right, I'm going to see how that plays out in an athletic an athletic standpoint on the television, the boob tube, as we like to call it. And it was a good game. He played his heart out. They lost game seven tonight. Fun fact. You, you told it to me. I'll give you credit. First game seven for the Philadelphia Phillies in 140 years. Yeah. I might make a Philly cheesesteak tonight. Fil- oh, yeah? Fil- filthy Phillies actually opened up on Quinpool. Did they? Right there, That's yeah. a good spot. Maybe I'll go get one for the game. Have you? What have you been making? You been making your burritos? I'm always so curious. No, I, man, I, have, man, I haven't been. Uh, I just haven't been, been eating. eating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I won't even eat breakfast. I'll nibble for lunch and dinner, like whatever Sarah's making. And it's usually something light. Mm. I got to start eating more. It's bad. You used to be a machine, man. I know. But like when you got all these things in your head, it's like the last yeah. thing you're thinking about is food. You're oh yeah, like, the weekend. Like the list. Like how many things we got? <laughs> Today's list. There was one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten things on the list, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six things done. The podcast, which we're doing now, so that's seven things done. So there's one, two. There's there's still three things left after this podcast. 
You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, what do you, you want me to go make a sandwich? I got to get the list done. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that is what I think the NHL is missing a little bit of during the regular season. Playoffs, playoffs are playoffs. Oh, yeah. Playoffs sell itself. People say that the NHL playoffs, even Americans will say they're the best playoffs in the world is hockey playoffs. Uh, I, yeah. You hear, you'll hear that. Even, like, mm-hmm. Definitely. The first two round, the first round, uh, yeah. the first first round, for, and the second round, that's the best playoffs. I'm trying to debate it with something, but I don't think I can. No. Other than like when the Jays were playing against Texas, I just love when the Jays are in the playoffs, man. Dude, they have they're like one and eight. Their last play, like their I last know, nine games. But I just I'll never you. forget that. Like I'll never like that the the Jose about to yeah. the home run. Like that's my. And when Kawhi Leonard, I guess when it's just Canadian teams. Hmm. You know that like that Raptors run when Kawhi Leonard hit the yeah the three pointer from the buzzer beater like yeah that's ninety year old man out of a straw type stuff. So what about know? when the Oilers win this year? Will you have the same energy? Honestly, yeah, probably. All right, <laughs> if a Canadian team is in there, I'm flying. I'm just to, like, I'm flying to Edmonton if they're in the finals. Like, I don't care that this is what pisses me off about Canadian like this whole why isn't a Canadian team won. If a Canadian team's in the NHL Finals and it's Edmonton and you're a Montreal fan, grow the grow up, and you're cheering for Edmonton. Just, I agree. Just you know, just suck it up. I don't even care. Maybe Montreal, Toronto. Okay. What about Calgary? Calgary fans aren't cheering for Edmonton. Man, man, I don't know. <laughs> you See, need to this, know the inner workings this of the is fan where, bases. This is where I differ from. This is where I differ from people. Mm-hmm. What I I don't get that. Like I, I, I will cheer. Eh, man, maybe I won't. I was gonna say I, I would never cheer for a competitor. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. To win the prize to that the the prize Canada's that been going I, after yeah. for like forty, or thirty years yeah. now. I might have to eat my words there. <laughs> okay, but that's different. But if if Vancouver's in the Cup final, and yeah. you're a Toronto fan. Yeah. What do you care? Yeah. You're cheering for Vancouver. Yeah. Even if you're an Edmonton fan, you don't care. Go for it. It's Canada versus I, uh, it's Canada versus USA at that point. Uh, yeah, I must two Canadian. I teams might be right. able. I might be able to move on Vancouver. The Leafs and Flames. I would. I wouldn't. What about Montreal? Yeah, I'd cheer for Montreal. The Sens. I'd cheer for Ottawa. Yeah, Ottawa for sure. Winnipeg. I'd cheer for them. No man. Oh my god. It's just Win- Calgary and Toronto. Everyone would cheer for Winnipeg. Yeah. Everyone. Whoever. If they made it to the Cup Finals, everyone would. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Um. But but yeah. Bryce Harper, that, 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 sorry, that's just what I think the NHL is missing during the regular season. Just a little bit more um, rivalry, a little bit more heart, a little bit more, you know, and it, and it sucks because the NHL, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll fine you for speaking your uh, your mind. Yeah. And the NHL, these NHL guys, they're not making a ton of money. And that must be frustrating looking at uh, some of these NBA, what's the guy, the Greek freak just signed for yeah, $168 million for three years. Yeah, you know, like, 186 million. 186. <laughs> yeah, you know, these guys can literally go up on the press box, press boot, media. What are they? What do you call it after they do their games there? The media booth. Yeah. The, uh, the press, the press stage, and they can literally just mother f this, mother f that. T- say press how they conference. press conference. Sure. Say how they feel. Get fined 50k and be fine with it. And walk away. And you wonder why the NBA. No, I'm not saying that's why the NBA sells. But what does America love? Sports and controversy. It's two things that sell it for sure. Con- Athleticism, yeah. controversy. Controversy. When you look at cash. ESPN, what do you see every day? You see Stephen A. Smith talking about the latest. Ah, he's getting paid fifty mil a year. Why can't he do a layup? Why didn't he show up to team practice? What's he doing? He's making controversy. He's stirring things up. In Canada, a little different. In the hockey culture, which you know, even if you're playing in America, most players down there are from Canada. It's just not in our DNA to. Yeah. stir the pot yeah. it's our job to go home mm-hmm. or sorry go to work make our money go home provide for our family it's just it's a little different but i think wearing your heart on your sleeves cuts through all that bullshit if you told the general public how you felt kind of like i do now 
It would yeah. sell. It would sell. Well, 100%. Um, did it would you see sell. all the Evander Kane drama from the past weeks? Speaking I love that. Of the Oilers? I love that. I loved it. But that turned into the biggest, like, like biggest story but ever. In terms of other sports, that's nothing. I know. You know that's you see the, the guy difference. From the, NFL the other day he goes, that's you know, I'm, fuck, I'm tired of this. We lost seven years in a row. I'm yeah. Tired. That you was know? pretty nuts. <laughs> yeah. And for Kane to go, oh, I didn't get a lot of ice time, so yeah. I'm going to fight. It's like, yeah. that's nothing. But, but they made it was such a big deal, no, man. It's just it's crazy. It's crazy what what people overreact about here. But that's that's yeah. the that's the hockey culture we're in. Yeah. But I love it because he wore his heart on his sleeve. He talk. You're gonna ask him a question. Why do he fight? Answer truthfully. He's gotta play better, man. That's not the point. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't care. <laughs> the the point is that he told the truth. Yeah. The point is he actually said how he felt. Mm -hmm. And I love that. It's true. You know, did. I didn't even hate it either as an Oilers fan. I mean, all the, you know, you hear a lot about it in the news, which is kind of annoying, but you know, you don't want to, you're already at the center of attention with everything else going on, but you're right. A little passion, a little something, maybe it'll, maybe he'll score tonight. Maybe he'll be surprised. But I don't care if he scores or not. Just, you, you, think gotta, he will? you gotta, he's a good player, man. He's a great fighter. I remember he knocked out oh, Cook yeah. when he played for Atlanta. Cook played for Pittsburgh. Mm. One of the gnarliest right hands I'll ever see. Just, bop. and yeah. Cook at the time was at his peak rattiness. Oh. And I remember that was just such a nice little, bop. how are you? I remember Cook on Pittsburgh. Oh, Sheesh. man, he was, Don Cherry hated him when he was <laughs> in Pittsburgh. And it was tough because he had guys like Sid and Dupuy and Kuhn. It's like all like character, well-respected guys in the league. And they had to yeah. like stand up for him. Yeah. It was tough. But they, yeah, he was going quick. <laughs>